This is my mobile app I created with FileMaker Pro Advanced. And this is my iPhone, where I want to run the app as a native app. So, let's do it the easiest way, using Xcode. I'll go to xcode.24u.cz, log in with my credentials, create a new build, and now I will upload my app. In this case, the app consists of a single FileMaker file, but I can upload multiple files as well. I could also upload any plugins if my app used them, as well as any additional files I want to use, such as external resources. Now I will give my app a name to appear beneath the app icon, enter a bundle ID, this is a unique identifier for iOS to recognize the app, enter version number of my app, choose the version of the iOS app SDK, provide the help URL, this is required by Apple, choose the URL scheme to use for calling scripts from other apps or web viewer, decide how I want the app to behave when I relaunch it, and enter the encryption password I have used for encryption at rest. The remaining three parts to provide are the app icon, launch screen, and obscure icon. Now I am ready to build the app, so I just click the build button. Once the process has started, Xcode shows a notification and animated icon in the status column indicates that building is in progress. The building process may take several minutes, depending on the size of my app and the current load of the building server. Once the app is built, I am presented with a link from where I can download the app and install it to my device. So on my iPhone I'll open Safari, open the same page, tap install, confirm that I want to install the app, and wait a moment for iOS to download and install it. And voila, here is my new native app.